What's going on guys? Welcome back to Game Sages. And last time we got here to Snowden. And in this episode, we're gonna go explore a little bit. Whoa. I mean, we have 195 gold, so I said we can true. buy whatever the heck we want. And considering we're out of healing items, I think we should buy a couple. Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? <laughs> I, know, I know that's probably female, but... But, yeah, she seems like she'd have a manly voice. Yeah, I mean, she's a self-sustaining woman. She don't need no man. Yeah, she's sure. running this shop by herself. Uh, we already have a tough glove. Yeah. Do you think another one would come in handy? No, you can only use one at a time. All right. But then. the manly bandana would come in handy. Dang. Plus seven defense. Definitely got to pick that up. All right. Uh, would that oversexualize uh, our main protagonist because they are gender genderless? I don't know. I mean, it's a, maybe he's just a, a tomboy, if you will. Maybe. So, uh, let's see. What's the difference between a bicycle and a cinnamon 22 bun? HP over uh, 11 HP times 2. You can eat it twice, I though. think I'll definitely go for that. Yeah, let's buy like 3 or 4 of those, because we are out of healing items. And I think that'll be good for us, because you can use all of those twice. So, I think we're good on healing for the rest of this playthrough. Well, not playthrough. The rest of this area. All right. All right. Here to chat. Let's chat. Let's see what. <laughs> Say hello. Let's introduce ourselves. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. <laughs> Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? We kind of fell into a hole and now we're here. <laughs> Maybe we'll just say hello again. <laughs> uh. What to do here? All right, let's just ask. You want to know what, to, what there is to do in Snowden? Grubby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. That's right next door. My sister runs it. I'm not very tired, to be honest. <laughs> nah. <sighs> <laughs> I can't say the same. Is that, legit? Was that a real yawn? <laughs> that was a legit yawn. <laughs> I felt the opportunity as soon as you said that. Wow, that's awesome. I'm not really feeling this voice, to be honest with you. I think I want to switch over. Let's just keep going. We don't need to hear what's going on in Snowden. I mean, basically, uh, she's just telling us what's in town. Why would we ask what's in town when we could find out ourselves? Yeah, by for real. Way to so, let me ask the question anyways, Austin. Yeah, I mean, why not? Get a little bit of history for this character. It's probably the last time we're going to be uh, be uh, seeing them. A, a little, little claustrophobic. claustrophobic. Why are you working inside this tiny little shack? That... I think I know the perfect voice for her. What is it? Jersey. Jersey, Just yes. look, at, look at her mouth. Yeah, she Look does. at that sass. But we all need to keep, uh, we all know deep down that freedom isn't coming, don't we? Yes, that is a perfect voice for her. You can just tell by the way she looks. Her arms are crossed. Yeah. It is perfect. As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. Day after day. That's life, ain't it? That is life. That's life. That's life. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't get that song reference. Oh, dude, it's a really good one. All right. Think back to the history. Oh, wait, you got it. Think back to my history class. Mine didn't say a thing about this place. Yeah, considering we were on uh, Earth. Long, long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The uh, door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost... Or you, you uh, or can burrow under the door. Forget about it. Little does she know. Forget about it. <laughs> Little does she she know. We were the ones who unlocked that door. For real. And we started our quest in the ruins. How far have we come? A pretty dang long way. Oh, uh, this is that chest we encountered in, I believe, episode two. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was like episode three or four. Two. Yeah. All right. So uh, Use what do we the have box. in there? Uh, Butterscotch pie, a toy knife. All that stuff donut. needs to remain in there, I'm pretty sure. All right. So, so let's equip her manly bandana, though. So go to our inventory after this, and let's equip that. We need that defense, because we do have a boss fight coming up. All right, use that. You equip the manly bandana. All right. Let's go ahead and check out this inn. Yeah, I mean, why not? We can spend this episode exploring Snowden. All right. All right. Uh, that's a pretty run-down couch, if For I do real. say so myself. Is that Doggo? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. That's a rabbit. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Above my maximum? Uh, ooh. What's maximum HP? Uh, the I maximum wonder. amount of HP. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Let's see how much it heals. I don't yeah, for real. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever slept at the end in my Undertale career, and I've played this game like three times. All right, so her sister has a Jersey accent. 
I'm thinking we should maybe give her a southern draw. Welcome to the Southern Inn, Snowed Inn's front premier hotel. One night is 80G. Jeez, Ooh. that's a good fourth of our money. That is. Is it worth it? I mean, if it's going to heal us over our max HP. Let's do it. Why All right. Right. We have plenty of money. We can grind for some later if we need it. That's true. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. I think that's the perfect voice for it her. It is. Right. Oh, shoot. This... Right. <laughs> what are those? This is uh, showing the rooms that are separated. Oh, I thought we were sleeping in the same room. I was like, nah. that is weird. Oh, can we just jump up now? Uh, oh, wait, nope. Had to there sleep we go. the night away. Hiya, you look like a, you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were the only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> really? Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Sweet. No, okay. Sh- I think awesome. I want to check out the rest of the... Oh, all Ooh, right. All right. That, that was a great decision on airport. For real? We got our money back. Hit C. Let's see how much HP we have. Whoa. Oh. Well, we just skipped most of All the town. All right. Yeah, let's check. 30 yeah, out of 30 20. 30 out of 20. Awesome. Dang. All right. We're going to have to remember that. If Maybe we... that's a teaser for what uh, you can gain if you stay the whole night. Maybe. We're going to have to remember that if we uh, ever come across a hard boss and need a little extra boost. Yeah, for we'll real. We'll come back here and get that. All, All right. right. We got a lot of... Uh... People to talk to here. Yeah, we can talk to a couple of the locals here. I know. Let's start with this guy. Because why would we breeze by the town? Let's just enjoy it. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Uh, she does look a little strange. I don't know. She's She looks pretty innocent with her mouse pet, I guess. All right. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Buns buns are so ado- adorable. Teehee. All right. Pretty normal, if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, I nothing talk truly disturbing. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Horns? That All sucks. Right. Come on, teen. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Huh. Like, I guess Christmas hat. I'm not too it. certain how that came about. <laughs> if that's true or not, but we'll it's go with it. It's a carefully decorated tree. Carefully. <laughs> so some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. All right. I mean, I guess they have Christmas down here in the under, in the under, oh gosh, the tongue <clears throat> whisters. Yo, you're a kid too, right? We are a kid, but not a squid. I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, I guess he's wearing a striped sir- shirt too, so it does make sense. Do you see the resemblance? I do see the resemblance, actually. Really? A uh, little bit. Wider but- mouth, he's got shadows under his eyes, he has bigger eyes for one. I know, but I mean, we were both yellow, we both have striped shirts on, we're about the same height. Yeah. There's some resemblances here. Maybe I can just take his place. Yeah, mm. just, just take his place in the town Slip as in. a local and stay here forever. This town doesn't have a mayor. That's great. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. A fish lady? That seems like a pretty janky system. That's politics. I, I guess. I'm assuming that skeleton man is Papyrus himself. Maybe. I guess he's the man in charge around here. Oh, dang. Whoa. Literally every enemy we've, we've fought up until this point, except wow. for the guy uh, sitting in these booths. Yeah, who the heck is that? Is that even a person? Looks kind of like a sack to me. Yeah, for real. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want a new drinks and... Uh, uh, Hot, hot guys. Hot Whoa. guys. All oh, right. I'm standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're generalists, so. All yeah, right. true. Whoa. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Um. Disgusting. What happens to monster food? For real? Does it just <laughs> sit in there? I don't know. I'd love to try it sometime. Okay, I'd love to try some... Well, I don't know if I would like to try monster food or not. <laughs> Pardon me. It is very <clears throat> early, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we woke up super early to record this for you after having a late night. Yes. Full uh, of failed recordings. Full of nothing but fail. <clears throat> so let's check out dog marriage over here. <clears throat> We're sentries, but we never go- get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. Ha <laughs> ha. We love bones. <laughs> I mean, nice. Nice job not denying it. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. Greater dog it was. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's check out Doggo. I'm... <clears throat> I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. 
It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Does it though? Does is it that now? the kind of message you want to send? Yeah, it seems like that is the opposite of what he would want to send. Whoa. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, lesser dog. Whatever. Let's see. What is this? Well, no, that's greater dog. This is lesser dog. <clears throat> it's playing poker against itself. I would play a game of poker with him if we had the option. Maybe we will next time on Game Sages. We'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>